They were dubbed the Dirty Dozen. These players waited a year to play baseball at Boise State. Then after a promising beginning, their season ended because of the coronavirus. And now, the baseball team and the swimming and diving programs have been eliminated. I'm sorry for the decision. Uh, it was necessary from a department standpoint. Because of the uncertain future with COVID-19, the BSU Athletic Department needs to cut $3 million to make a sustainable budget moving forward. And eliminating baseball and swimming provides $2.2 million. This is so much bigger than just two sports, and I don't want to downplay the, the pain and the anxiousness and the questions that we have from our student athletes and our coaches in terms of those two sports. But this is just so much bigger than that. This is about an athletic department budget. This is about how our university is going to handle the fall. The other sports at BSU have had to figure out how to make cuts as well. But needing to build a baseball stadium and a new facility for swimming also factored into this decision. I feel for them. I feel for their families. And, you know, it's it's not something that, that Boise State is, is interested in doing ever. So it was, it was a really, really tough conversation with both programs. But one the university felt they had to make to ensure other sports at BSU continue. But the cuts might not be over. And a lot of that will depend on what happens with Boise State football this fall. I would be untruthful if I told you this is over. I don't know exactly what that looks like. I don't know if that includes other programs or bigger cost savings or whatever that may be. But, you know, we're, we're anticipating uh, more. I think it's irresponsible to not anticipate that. APSI says not having football or limited ticket sales could cost the department anywhere from 6 to $15 million. And BSU generates 70% of their own revenue to fund their programs. And as far as baseball manager Gary Van Tol, although disappointed, the first thing he did was ask APSI, how can I help? Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.